Now, if you didn't already notice, I don't have the biggest YouTube channel in the world, but somehow I still get recognized multiple times. So, me and my three friends Andrew, Alex, and Gregor decided to head to a local food store whose name I can't say because it would give out my location. Oh, and by the way, that day I was wearing my merch, and I would promote my merch here, but my 50,000 subscribers something merch was only available for two weeks, so I don't have an official merch store yet. Yet. So, we all headed into a local food store whose name I can't say because it would give out my location, and I ordered some chips and a drink because I had just finished eating lunch before I got asked to go. That isn't important to the story, I just felt like sharing. So, we found a table outside and just sat down. About five minutes go by of us just sitting there eating our food when Gregor looks at me. It was that kind of surprise look, but also a, dude, look behind you look. So, I look behind myself and I see this kid, maybe six or seven, just standing there. Hi. Hey, are you Luke25? Okay, 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 okay. Around a year ago, my channel was called Luke25, but I didn't like that name at all, so I was surprised when he called me that. Uh, yeah, yep, that, that's me. Oh, cool, I really like your videos. Oh, th thanks. Well, that was weird. Now I'm super happy I wore my something shirt because if it weren't for that, he might not have noticed I'm a YouTuber he watches. The next time I got recognized took place at VidCon. And so does a lot of the other times you'll hear about in this video. Also, these stories aren't in chronological order, so just keep that in mind. So, me and some other people were just hanging out at VidCon when one of them decided that we should go to a David Dobrik panel. Now, feel free to make fun of me all you want, but I have no idea who he is. So, I didn't really care if we win or not, but we wanted to go, so I was like, alright, sure, I guess, I don't know. So, we walked over, and it was crowded. There were barely any seats left. Luckily, we found seats and sat down. Ty from I'm Ty was like, Hey dude, I gotta go use the bathroom to save our seats, okay? So, he walked away and I was left with guarding our seats. Easy, right? Wrong. I saw a food court next to me and thought, Wow, I should totally go over there and check out the food, even though I don't have any money to buy it because I accidentally lost it at Subway and then started crying. Not because I lost the money, but because it smelled like cut onions and there were onions everywhere. Like what? Did someone come up and ask, Hey, can I order 500 sliced onions? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Oh, by the way, I just saw a food court next to where I was sitting if you missed that. So I walked over and checked it out. Hmm, water. Mmm, pizza. Other random food. Wait, I don't even have any money. So, I walked back to my seat. But as I was walking back, I noticed two people started heading towards me and Ty's seats. So I started walking a little bit faster, just as I was about to reach our seats. Hey, are, are you Luke or something? Well, uh, 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 yeah, that's me. Oh, cool, can I have a picture? Yeah, sure. So I took the picture, but then I remembered about the seats. Oh. Well, so Ty came back from the bathroom and was like, Dude, what happened to your seats? <sighs> well, you see. But it was fine, we just went around looking at booths. David Dobrik, more like David, I don't even watch your videos, but I went to one of your panels for some reason, only to lose my seat because I got recognized, but it wasn't really the person who recognized me's fault, so I didn't really care. One of the most interesting things that happens when you have any amount of subscribers is when people are like, Wait, you're a YouTuber? And I think these kind of count as getting recognized, so I'm allowed to tell it. So this one time, my school band went to go play at the high school football game. Even though we're in 8th grade, I'm in 8th grade 13 by the way, please stop asking. And before we went on the field for halftime, we just stood there on the sidelines. And while I was just standing there, this kid came up from behind the separator from the bleachers to the field and asked, Hey, are you, like, a YouTuber? Uh. Another time, I was just sitting in social studies class, and my friend Gregor was like, Hey, Luke, nice merch. Because I was wearing my something shirt. Which, like I said at the beginning of the video, it isn't for sale currently, okay? At 100k, maybe. I don't, I don't know. And the kid sitting next to me just moved from Australia and has no idea about any American stuff. So it's kind of funny we're in the history unit. Says, wait. What do you mean by merch? Uh, are you like a YouTuber or something? Uh, this next story is another VidCon one. Actually, all the other ones are also. I don't get recognized in normal public, guys. I'm a smallish channel. So as soon as I got to VidCon, I met up with Sloosh and Aiden and we just walked around the convention center. And as soon as we walked into the outdoor area, hey, this person just walks up to us and draws this fan art right there. Look at it. It's 
super good. Ah, it was really cool and they were the first person who recognized me. Congratulations to them, I guess. Also, after that, we did a meetup. It was really cool and a lot of you showed up and gave me fan art and it was fun. Thanks to everyone for showing up and stuff like that. Even you, the person who screamed Minecraft. Even you. But right after that, we went over to the animation meetup thing with a bunch of other animators and it was... I, I didn't expect what it was. What was what it was, but I didn't expect it. Tons of people showed up and it went on for three hours. I got to sign a ton of stuff and I had a hand cramp after. But it was worth it because I got to meet all of you guys. Alright, I guess that's going to do it for this video. I might make a part two next year if I get recognized more, which hopefully I will. Also, am I going to VidCon 2019? I don't know. Probably. I almost forgot how to do an end card, so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. I spent a long time on it, and it was originally going to be way longer than what it was. I even had some other parts, like, partially animated, but I decided to scrap them because I didn't really find it too interesting. So, I just want to make the video short. So yeah, that's, that's why it took forever. Woo. Also, school was annoying. Thanks to that person right there for being something. If you guys want to be featured in the end card of my next video just like that other person, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, like the video, and comment I'm now something. I'll pick one person to be featured, and it could be you, so that's pretty cool. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed that video. Uh, yeah, it's... Yeah, finally, new video, woo. I'm getting really close to 100k, so subscribing, that would be pretty cool. You should you should do that. Also, I have uh, social medias and a Discord server. Those are all in the description. My old Discord link apparently expired. That's on the description of most of my videos. So yeah, click the, the one in the description works, if you were wondering. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. Make sure to eat your breakfast, because the most important meal of the day.